What's good, Car Family? Happy Monday. How's everybody doing today? Um, it has been a while since I've done a video um, for multiple reasons. You know, there's a lot going on, but I have been hoarding and collecting a bunch of stuff, and I had some means to do it, which I'm going to get into. Um, I'll let you know up front, this is going to be a long video. Um, if you are a Cowboys fan, which I have a few folks that aren't part of the card family that just watch my videos because they like the Cowboys and they like seeing Cowboys cards. Um, I think there'll be a little bit here for everyone, um, no matter what your era or genre is. So uh, let me get into this. So what happened is um, a little over a month ago, I, I happened into Target one night and I came upon a bunch of majestic basketball a lot like the guy had just stocked the shelf so you know as much as i despise people that do this i bought it all and i i flipped it i sold it and i made some money and um, i'm gonna do a separate video just on that to talk about that and and what that looks like and and how i did it and how to do it not saying that i do it better but you know Man, it was my first time doing it, and I had a lot of reservations and a lot of questions about it. I learned a lot in the process, but I wanted to be able to show what I was able to buy with the money that I flipped a bunch of Majestic. So, in no doubt, I could have pulled a huge LeBron in there and bought a new house or something, I guess, but I think I was able to do pretty well. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to get started, and there was a, a number of different ways I was doing this. Um, I did have a card show come through not too long ago. So a lot of these will be uh, card show pickups, gotten some breaks, a lot of different things. So let's get it going. First one, non-cowboys. This is an ex-Wolfpacker. Uh, it's 21 out of 35, rookies and stars. See the pretty patch in there? That's Corin Robinson. Uh, like I said, XNC State guy, 2004. Um, I, I think I bought this on eBay and I just saw it. And I, I think I paid a buck for it. I figured, man, for a buck, a little dirty patch in there. Why not, right? Card show pickup. The silver, another Wolfpacker. A little Bradley Chubb action. Love him in his NC State uniform. Got this one off eBay. Shout out to Bronx Bombers. He turned me on to Stadium Club Murphy Collection. Um, this is uh, 92 Stadium Club and Will Clark. And you can see right there, 92 NL All-Star. I think this is like a set that comes out for Stadium Club or at the All-Star break. Um, Mike Bronx Bombers turned me on to it because he picked up the Jeter. And I can tell you, the Clark is a lot less expensive than the Jeter by hundreds of dollars, if not thousands. Uh, card show, little red Don Russ, Michael Gallup. Fly through some of these. Red Jalen Smith, that was a card show. Uh, got in a Snods break, um, breaking some score. And again, this, you know, this was a break I just got into with some with this majestic money. So some CDs. I pulled more CDs than the ones I'm showing. There's the gray. Uh, Kendrick Rogers auto. Sean McKeon at 50, the gold. And then this beautiful Amari Cooper, uh, numbered to six. Yeah, so I pulled more CDs, but I set some of them to the side. Probably going to try and move some of them. Might even send one off to get graded. Why not? But that Amari, the green, man. Scores a low-end product, but does have some really nice inserts. So shout out to Snods. Thanks for the break. <clears throat> Didn't do terrible, but not great. Some more card show stuff here. A little Vander Esch rookie out of playoff. Panini. Got my first Harvey Martin auto. And again, that was at the card show too. I for, this uh, upper deck set is pretty popular. Um forget exactly what this is called but there's a lot of classic players in this set and uh harvey martin of course rest in peace not gonna get his auto anymore got a zeke the silver prism 
Purple Crusade. This is card show stuff. That one is not numbered. Got a Silver Amari. This is just going through the 50 cent dollar boxes, stuff like that. Got this DAC out of 249. Again, still card show stuff here. Silver Digs. This guy guy had all of this uh, Prism draft picks, man. He had all this different color. And you'll see later I got a bunch of Emmets out of there too. So I bought the whole lot. Picked them all out and asked him what he wanted. He said 10 bucks. So it was a steal. Silver Digs. Little edge rusher for Dallas. Little Joe Jackson rookie auto. Out of Prism draft picks. Pink Pulsar. Dak. Prism draft picks last year. Little top 100 out of National Treasures. Uh, 59 out of 75. Tyron Smith. One of the best left tackles in the NFL when he's right. Again, you know I love the gold zone. This was an eBay pickup. Maybe a buck a piece for these. All of these are out of 50, and the gold zones are beautiful. The DAC, the Gallup, and the Amari. Sweet looking cards, man. So I picked those up on eBay. Uh, more card show stuff. A limited DAC. I saw this Donovan Wilson uh, playoff rookie rookie ticket. So I picked that. Uh, not playoff, but uh, contenders optic. So I picked that up. I I think Donovan. I think I think he's a guy, Donovan Wilson, that's going to kind of come into his own. A little COMC pickup here. I thought this was nice. I like picking up. Kind of a dirty top loader. I like picking up uh, numbered Zeke rookies. So this is Contenders Rookie of the Year insert. 75 out of 199. Sweet card. And I definitely love draft picks, numbered stuff, in particular 16. Uh, I love getting Amari in his Alabama uniform. So there's the camo. That's out of 199. This is all COMC stuff. Of course, the tie-dye. High die is just beautiful. And those are out of 49. Again, still looking at some COMC stuff here. Uh, and then the blue, those are not numbered. Very nice. Picked up this slick Dez and uh, Michael Irvin clear airs out of Clear Vision uh, 2016 Clear Vision. This one's out of 49. Slick card, man. Got all that money in your PayPal and you just see stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I'll buy it. It was like two or three bucks. eBay. All right, what else we got? What else we got? Tell you what, let's, let's do a little rainbow action. So back in the winter, Christian Cortez hit me up with this. This door set, one of one out of 16 clear vision. Appreciate that again, brother. Um, I had bought something from him, and he literally just threw that in. So I've had my eye on him, and what I decided to do was decided to pick up the rest of the rainbow. Um, I had a little bad luck with this. So there's out of 99, 79, the 101, uh, the red out of 49, I think this is like a bronze out of 29, the emerald out of 19, and I literally had bought from a buyer on eBay and picked up the, oh, out of nine, and oh, shit, I forget what color it is, damn, um, anyway, I had bought it, and then the guy hits me back and says, oh, sorry, I must have sold this card to somebody else, I don't have it anymore, so I've got the base in a box, I'm not showing the base right now. Literally, all I'm missing is the out of nine to have this rainbow. So if you if you see or you have the 16 door set out of nine, um, please let me know. Um, definitely take that off somebody's hands. So, the, and and these aren't that expensive. Um, the out of nine that I had bought, I think I paid like ten bucks for it. And uh, like I say, that would have completed the rainbow. But oh well, got my eyes open.
So most of those I picked up on COMC. I, I think I bought the uh, the Emerald on eBay. I'm um, also snagged this on COMC. Like I say, door sets are super affordable. This is uh, 16 Spectra at a 25. And you know you can't go wrong with that. Just beautiful. Love the Spectra. Um, kind of going to dilly dally on this rainbow a little bit you know i'm not gonna go crazy on it but probably will go after it a little um how about some emmets been a while right card show pickup this is uh at a certified 17 certified champions and that one is out of 49 and here are the prisms that i said i picked up in that lot so i really got a good start on the rainbow so here's the let's see here's the silver blue green pink pulsar orange and the red and like I said all of these including um, any of the other um, what is that 20 any of the other 2020 Prism stuff you see, 10 bucks the dude did on that lot. So I thought that was a super cool deal. Stood there and had a long talk to him about retail and that kind of thing. So pretty neat. Uh, picked up this uh, 2020 Leaf Draft flashback, the yellow. Uh, the Legacy Record Book, Most Career Rushing Yards. Again, these were card show pickups. This one, I think just a random eBay pickup. Uh, school colors out of 2001 Invincible, numbered out of 2750. Didn't have it. This is a unique one here. Um, this is out of 15 Tops Chrome. This is a short print. I'm telling you, these are not easy to find. Um, so this has been kind of, I don't want to call it a bucket list card. It's not that expensive, but I've been like really wanting to add this. Um, I'm trying to figure out if it's like miscut top to bottom. And I swear, it seems like every one I look at it seems like it's got a little something extra going on down here at the bottom. I, I guess that's just the way the card's made. I could be wrong, though. But sweet card, nonetheless, though. Because he doesn't really have a, you know, a base card in that set, except for that variation. I uh, thought this was slick. This was also off of COMC. Uh, working on the 15 Don Russ. I got a couple of the parallels of this. But uh, you can't beat a bookend. That's 15 out of 15. Years in the NFL, 1990 through 2004. I guess that's like a silver press proof. It's very sweet. Another card show pickup out of Absolute NFL Icons. I told you it's going to be a long video. Um, eBay pickup, Donruss 2000 Zoning Commission. See that one's 480 out of a thousand. A little die cut action. <clears throat> free shipping. You see stuff for free shipping. Um, this was inspired by a Eddie by a card I picked up for Bobby, and uh, so I started looking for these. These are absolutely gorgeous. If you ever if you find your player in this set, this is 2010 Tops Tribute, and there's a lot of different colors. And this one's the surface has got a few surface issues. But if you can find these, these are pretty. You like? All right. So with that shown, let's go to a, something a little more old school. Shout out to Dustin to Abraham on these. Um, it's kind of talking my way through this with him when I pick these up. You know, my stallback collection definitely needs some beefing up um, and i was able to do that thanks to this majestic stuff so first up 72 uh, this is his rookie year nfc passing leaders stallback landry and billy kilmer is it's a psa 4 but i mean i don't know if you can tell but this is a clean clean card so thought that was cool so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start and start at 72, and I'm going to start collecting Stallback. Um, I never have really chased him all that hard because I just I don't find his cards all that appealing. But they look good in, in a uh, in a PSA slab. 
So let's keep it going. This didn't really stall back, but it is related to the Cowboys' first Super Bowl run. So there's Dwayne Thomas, uh, PSA 6, NFC semifinal game. Found a great seller on eBay that was selling these. Um, NFC championship game and a PSA 5. And they're all pretty clean. They're all good looking cards. Cowboys over to 49ers. Uh, the Super Bowl. That one does have stall back on the front here. You see him running and dodging and stuff. PSA 4. Still just a pretty clean card. They all have the stats and stuff on the back, which is nice. So got that in a PSA 4. And then the big addition um, card that I did have, you know, in my childhood. These are extremely hard to find centered. Um, and that's what I really wanted. I wanted one that was centered and that looks clean. Um, it's not 100% centered, but it's, it's the best I could find in a PSA 5. And I paid a few bucks extra to get one centered. Um, so, again, this is all part of that majestic money. So, as you can see, that's the 72 tops. Roger Stallback, rookie. I did have one as a kid. But now I've got one slabbed and a PSA 5. A little off left to right, hair off top to bottom. But overall, you know, for a 5, my camera just isn't really. It's clean. You see a little ding on the corner up there. Just a clean card, though. And it, and it, and it presents well. And to me, when you're, when you're buying graded stuff, older stuff, I know this isn't, you know, super old. Uh, I want a card that presents well, that... It looks good in the slab. Um, the color is nice on it. I just, I don't think you can beat it. You know, you can, that, that card raw, you, you'd think, man, I've got, a, I've got a super nice card there. So there's my start on the stall back and really just starting with the 72 season. Um, thought that was kind of unique. Something I haven't been doing. Um, next up, I'm going to go 73. All right, let's see what else we got. So I got this card in a one touch and I have yet to put plastic on it because this one is going to get collazoed. And this is one of the dopest, baddest cards I've ever picked up. Um, this is 98 Fleer Brilliance. And this one is 90 out of 99. You can see it's Michael Irvin. Um, and this is the gold. So the base... Eh, not so much, but the golds in this set, if your player has one, I'm just saying this card is badass, and the camera is not doing it justice. Um, this card is super clean. Uh, the surface is pretty daggone good. There might be a couple smudges on it, but these are shiny, 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 and I've been holding off. I've had this card for probably two or three weeks now. I've been holding off on putting plastic on the on the one touch because I wanted to do that for you. I mean, it is just so so shiny and gorgeous. So yeah, I looked. I've looked for Emmett, and I tell you, to be super expensive. I will tell you for this one, paid. Uh, I got that one in a bid. I think I paid about eleven bucks for it. So again. All courtesy of Majestic. 98 Fleer Brilliance. <clears throat> so I'm going to get that out of the way because I want to talk about another kind of little side project that I got going on. Um, I'm really digging 16 Spectra uh, Zeke stuff in particular. Let me drop this just a little bit. So a couple videos ago. I picked up the 16 Spectra, and this is just his base rookie, but that one's out of 25. <clears throat> I already had the base patch out of 25, and remember these are these are rookies, so these these are uh, I don't know, they're pretty pricey, but I did good on that one. I can tell you, I did good compared to what I see it selling for. I think I got this one from Bobby, maybe in a fire sale. He might have gave it to me. I don't know. And hell, I'm pretty sure I bought this one from Bobby too. So that's immense materials. 
And this one's the monumental memorabilia. That one's out of 199. And I'm really not trying to pick the patches up, but I just figure I would add them kind of to this little little showcase here because they are, you know, they are part of it. Let's do like that. Focus. Okay. So I added another to the to the base set. Um, this one is out of 60, 10 out of 60. And there you go, Pat Al, another rookie. Um, I, I'm going, I'm, I'm going hard on these. Uh, next, I'm going to try and get the 99. Uh, when you get down to the out of 15s and stuff, those things are pretty pricey. But you know, spectral rookies, nice looking stuff, man. And I don't know, for me, I mean, they, they, they've got some value, but it's just a cool factor to them. Um, and, I, and again, I just love, love numbered rookies. So that's the 16 Zeke Spectra and where I'm at so far with that. And expect the counter to be going for Zeke uh, here pretty soon and Dorset. While we're on Zeke, uh, here's another one that just has kind of been a goal card of mine. Um, didn't pay a ton for this. I got this in the COMC order. This is the 16 draft picks, and that one's out of 49. And that's the tie-dye, which is, I just love 16 draft picks. The tie-dye and the camo are my favorite. Um, I know everybody has their favorites. People like the red, white, and blue and things, but tie-dye is where it's at for me. And I love Zeke in the Ohio State uniform. Um, picked up at the card show. It's 19 encased Tony Pollard. Um, so rookie triple memorabilia. So you got the football piece in there, the blue and the white. And that one is out of 75. Not a huge card, but encased rookie. Saw it at the show. Why not? Saw this at the card show also. This is out of 19 certified game used and that is two out of ten tyron smith certified game used certified gamers little game used piece there thought that was nice i got an auto of his too i got a rookie auto that i picked up at national two years ago still still collecting des i don't know if i'll ever do a counter for him but uh, I still collect Dez, and I still love triple threads. So this is 14 triple threads. And thought it was pretty cool representing the X. Dez, man, my focus is struggling here. I'm tapping the card to try and get it to focus. Dez X touchdown. A little multicolor in there and that one is out of 18 that was an ebay pickup and i got one more one touch card and then a couple slabs and we'll be done so we're getting close to the end this one this 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 seller this is the guy that messed me up on the door set that Said he didn't have the door set, and I had really just added this card in to take advantage of the shipping. Um, then he took two weeks to ship this card, but it is a cool card. Um, 2004 Donruss Playoff, 62 out of 95, career best, and you can see it's going to be shiny, right? Boom, Emmett Smith, game news. That'll go into the uh, to the Emmett Emmett collection and definitely hits the counter. All right, just a couple more cards and we'll be done with this one. Appreciate y'all hanging in there if you did. Um, I don't know what is up with me in this Zeke kick lately, but uh, then I started looking at Beckett slabs and I, I like newer stuff 
in the Beckett slabs. Um, I don't necessarily like to see older stuff in it, but uh, I think certain cards look good in a Beckett slab, and this is one of them. And I thought this was a unique Zeke to get. So this is 16 Panini Prime Signatures. Uh, as you can see, that one is 24 out of 100. This is Rookie. And this is the Cosmic Insert. I don't know if y'all can get a good look at that. So 16 Prime Signatures, Rookie Revolution right there. And this is the Cosmic. So there's, a, there's a base one and... And the cosmic and that's a Jim Mint 95. I just thought it was a cool card. And like I say, I'm definitely on this little Zeke Zeke kick right now. I want to get on a Dak kick, and I will if he signs a damn contract, but until then, I'm I'm being careful with Dak. Um last card out of 16 select. A uh, another Beckett slab. Sorry, I was looking at something there. This one's nine out of 49. 16 Panini Select. And Booyah, that's the copper. Nine five. And it's the, I forget the variant, uh, field level maybe is what they call that. But it's not the base card, it's the, it's the variant pose. Oh, that was a cool pickup. And I really like those two cards together. And I think with the Zeeks, it's kind of probably a direction you'll see me taking for a little while. Is uh, just a little more numbered rookies getting into... Select, man. Select is going to be an interesting, fun chase. But anyway, that's all I got. Like I say, I'm going to do a video where I kind of talk about the whole Majestic purchase and how that happened and how I did it and what it might look like for somebody else. But I know this is a long video, but man, I had stuff building up. And this isn't everything I bought. I bought a lot of stuff uh, for other people, uh, things, I, things I still got to ship out. So I did spend some other money, and I bought some random packs and things like that here and there, and I didn't show everything I pulled in them packs, but not bad. Like, I didn't have any money, and everything I just showed in this video is what I bought with the Majestic that I stumbled across buying hamburger buns in Target one night. Appreciate y'all watching. Keep it real. I'm out.